Today's video is going to hurt, but it must be said. Today's video is gonna feel like having an open wound and somebody squirting alcohol or lemon juice in that wound. But when I tell you it is by design that you are lost, you need to take heed. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, I'm going to drop some stuff in here today that your pastor, preacher, apostle, or whatever, if they are a part of world religion, they won't even, they won't even wrestle with it because of how heavy and weighty what I'm saying is. The first thing you must do is realize, okay, who controls the narrative is who controls history and what you have come to know as the truth, okay? You have news reporters that sit up behind a camera, read off of a teleprompter that somebody else is back there typing in and they think that they are giving you the truth. And most people, they take the bait, hook, line, and sinker. See, you're gonna start to really walk in truth when you realize that it's never been Hasatan's goal to tell you the truth. Starting from the garden of Adam and Shua, Adam and Eve, when Hasatan was talking to Eve, did he tell her the truth or did he tell her a lie? He told her a lie. And for that reason, when you think about why Hasatan told her a lie, it's because they had eternal life before she got in bed with Hasatan and believed what he was saying. Hasatan biblically has dominion over earth. So where is he gonna do a lot of his deceitful works, a lot of his wickedness on earth? A news reporter will sit up there and read off of a teleprompter. They themselves are not a witness to 98% of the stuff that they're reporting on. You sit back being programmed as they tell you a vision, TV, and you take it as truth. You take it as truth. And never, most people don't go back and study to show themselves approved. If the news reporter says something, most people don't go back into research it. This is why I don't watch the freaking news. I'm going to use this as an example. When it comes to black people, a lot of people don't know why they vote the way they vote, especially black people. You can have black people that will say, man, I'm a Democrat because the Democrats support black people. And it's evident that they don't even realize that the Democrats were the ones fighting to keep you enslaved. That's a, that's, a, that's a Google search. And it was the Republicans that wanted you free, to be free people. Man, it's by design that the children of Yashriel are lost. It's by design. This is why the Most High tells us not to follow the ways of the other nations. They are already corrupted. When he tells us, 
follow not the way of the heathen for the customs of the people are vain. He's letting you know they already lost. Letting you know. Telling you not to uh, marry your kids with them. Why? Because of their wickedness, their iniquity. They serve other idols and other deities. Look at the cultures. Okay, let me read you this. Second Peter chapter two, verse one. But in those days, false prophets arose among the people, just as there will be false teachers among you who will subtly introduce destructive heresies and denying the master who bought them, bringing swift destruction on themselves. So they're not gonna deny, they aren't going to acknowledge who they are sent by. They're not gonna acknowledge that. They're not gonna tell you, I'm sent of the devil, I'm sent of Hasatan, I'm sent of Satan. No, it's by design that you are lost. Let me move this camera. Let me reposition this camera. Think about that. It says they shall subtly bring in. They're not gonna bring it in fast. They're gonna bring it in slowly, piece by piece. They're gonna feed you this narrative. The news is just one way they do it. And you tune in for it. It's not overnight that you are deceived. See, all Hasatan needs is the parents to be deceived. If the parents is deceived, guess what? Kids is gonna be deceived. You know, you got people that will sit up, and I'm gonna just talk about some of these that will bring in, will subtly introduce destructive heresies. Okay, if the book doesn't say Adam and Eve in the garden bit into an apple, where did that come from? When we look at the historical text, the documents, looking at etymology, looking at more uh, translations that are verbatim versus just a version. Where did this stuff come from? Okay, here's another one. When you look at, if you were to do a Google search and say, is Christmas biblical? The first things that you're gonna have to decipher through is Christian and Catholic doctrine. You're gonna have to discern through that. So what'll happen is you will click on some of these websites and it will say, uh, you know, Christmas is a Christian observance celebrating the birth of Jesus. And then it'll have in quotations, see Matthew chapter such and such. Most people don't study. It's by design that you are lost. So the average person will say, see, I told you it was in the Bible. Wait a minute. That came off of a website. You didn't go to the book to get that. And then if we fact check the reference, the reference that they used in Matthew such and such is just describing what took place during the birth of Jesus, during the birth of Messiah, of Hamashiach. At what point do you realize that, wait a minute, man, there ain't no, there ain't no doggone Christmas story in this book. We don't see all this uh, Rudolph the Red Nose Rain. We don't see all this, but guess, look, look, look. Millions of people believe that nonsense. They believe that they're doing something biblical and it's not biblical at all. The word itself lets you know there's some foul play going on when it says the penmanship of the scribes is in vain. Okay. The translators, the scribes, are the ones that control the narrative. Man, I can sit up, I can sit up and tell you, just like in this video, Christmas is not in the book. People will sit back and they'll hear the Pope say, Christmas is biblical. We should be keeping Christmas. And people will take that 
hook, line, and sinker. It is by design that you are lost. Part of your salvation is finding the truth. That's part of your salvation. Seek out the truth until you are old. Okay, religious doctrine. A damnable heresy is teaching that the law is done away with. And they're teaching you based upon the letters of Paul now. They've done away with the law. Okay, but the word says, thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and thy law is the truth. Something's got to be damnable. Which is it? Okay, here's another one. People say Christianity. They'll tell, tell you this. Christianity is new covenant only. Hmm. Man, when we read about the new covenant, you know, in Jeremiah 31, 31 through 34, hmm, how come we don't see you in there? Those very same laws that you said are done away, the Most High says he's going to write them on your inward parts. He's going to write them on your heart. Hmm. Damnable doctrine. Here's another one. People say, man, the, the, the laws of Moses is done away with. Without realizing, when you look at Mount Sinai, Moses didn't lead himself up to Mount Sinai. When you go back a couple, uh, a couple chapters before that, you see of Moses receiving the mission and being told to go up to Mount Sinai by the Most High. They make it seem as if Moses came up with this stuff of, uh, uh, on his own. This is the this is the law of Moses. No, these are the laws of the Most High. The ten words or dabrims given to Moses by the Most High on Mount Sinai. See, I'm telling you, when you start to when you take the stance of what if everything that I've ever been told or come to believe true is possibly a lie. When you come to that realization, oh man, that's when that's when you will be uh, splitting lies wide open. You're living your life and playing the game based upon how they want you to play it. It's by design that you are lost. Here's another one. You got thousands of women that will read the passage about Deborah. Men too. They will tell you Deborah was a preacher. Deborah was a pastor. Look, 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 look in the book. And right where they're showing you in the book, guess what it says? It says Deborah was a prophetess. This is, some people don't even realize that they are bringing in damnable doctrine, damnable heresies. You know, there's, there's hundreds of books out there, thousands of books of theologians that have given you their interpretation of what the book has said. And people take their word hook, line, and sinker and they never get filled with the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, the spirit of understanding. So you will see titles, best-selling Christian author. Okay, here's another one. You got people coming to this country that their traditions and the way the family is structured is more righteous than Western culture. They get over here and they accept Christianity and guess what? They start keeping all of the Christian observances which are backed by idolatry. When you look at the holiday Easter, it's backed by idolatry, paganism. You know, when you keeping uh, Christmas, paganism, Labor Day, New Year's, all of it is rooted in heathenism. So you mean to tell me you wanted these people to be converted to Christianity, which is a idolatrous religion, Catholicism, which is a idolatrous religion. Their churches are full of graven images. 
the priest himself walk around with molten images. It's by design that people are lost. It's by design, especially the Israelites. Okay, the history that you got in school and the public school system, this is why this stuff is free. Anything that's of value is gonna cost you. You're not gonna go to school and learn about your true history. You're not gonna learn it in church. If I go to a Christian church, guess what? They're gonna be telling me that I'm a Gentile. I got a Chinese guy sitting beside me, got a Caucasian guy sitting beside me, got somebody from the Virgin Islands sitting beside me. And they'll sit up and say, you all are Gentiles. That's their teaching. You have to start looking at, okay, out of these false prophets and false teachers, where did they get their accreditation? When you start to look at the doctrine that these schools teach, this is why so many, so many religious leaders are programmed with falsehood. There's not one Christian pastor or Catholic pastor out there that can show book, chapter, and verse how to celebrate Christmas via the Bible. I don't give a dang if it's the 66 books or it's the 80 books in the original KGV. Here's another one. The NLT, this is where I said, who controls the narrative is who controls history. Man, you, you, you should look. If your pastor loves a very loose, translated version of the Bible, version does not mean verbatim. They got two different meanings, two different etymologies. If your pastor is, is by beating on the Bible hard, using a loosely translated Bible, and using a dictionary, I'm guaranteeing he gonna keep you lost. There's Bibles out there that's so jacked up as far as the, uh, the, the translator error in there, the penmanship of the scribe being in vain. You can't even get the etymology from the words that they've used. Let me give you another one. You can sit up and look at the definition and etymology of the word tithe and then they gonna never mention money. Biblically, tithes has never been money. But you would sit up and let somebody tell you that in one of these churches. It's by design that you are lost, okay? I encourage you to go back and read about the abominations committed in the temple. See, what happens is we read about temples and synagogues in the translation that we have now, and that's in the Old Testament. And then when you get to what is the New Testament, a lot of people don't even know how did the Bible come to be, book, chapter, and verse. How did that divider become there? A lot of people don't know that uh, the 66 book version of the King James Bible is not, is not uh, the best translation. People don't know that there's uh, 14 books. There's even more than that missing. And these translators, these religious theologians remove some of the stuff out. Okay. You will sit up and read the Testament of Job. You will sit up and read the book of Job and you'll have all kinds of questions. Your pastor ain't gonna never tell you, especially in religion or Catholicism, to go read the Testament of Job. But this is stuff that's out there. If you are not around people walking in truth, you're never even gonna come close to having access to some of the information that I'm giving you. Everybody is gonna be asleep. Everybody, the Most High Yah says, if you do not love the truth, he will send you a strong delusion. Why? Because you had pleasure in unrighteousness. Google that. Google strong delusion in the Bible and look up the verse, look up the passage, read it in context. It's by design that folk are lost. It's my design. There's somebody out there right now. The NLT is already a bad version of the Bible because they didn't remove so much. 
when we go to the end of the book and it talks about if anybody adds to or takes away from this book of prophecy, all of these plays in the book will be added unto you. But these scribes, they don't fear the most high. You know, uh, in school we was taught Christopher Columbus was the first one to settle and find this land that we live on. You do a deep dive, you realize, man, he ain't never set foot on this doggone soil. They make it seem like because they control the narrative that they was the first ones here. Meanwhile, the Native Americans is getting reparations because of what they did to them. Come on, man. You cannot take the bait, hook, line, and sinker. I got a video up on this YouTube channel where a lady, a politician, a black politician is sitting up boldly saying an AR-15 automatic rifle or assault rifle, assault rifle takes 50 caliber rounds. People will watch that and go and go spread it amongst the masses. You do a little research, you be like, man, ain't no AR-15 out there that take no dog on 50 caliber bullets. She says it weighs as much as a couple moving boxes. The weight of it. What? See, these people can sell you uh, all kind of foolishness and you'll believe it. But when we read, it says, but in those days, false prophets arose among the people, just as there will be false teachers among you who will subtly introduce destructive heresies. They, these is not constructive teachings. No, they're destructive. Evenly deny, e even denying the master who brought them bringing swift destruction on themselves. So because they sit up uh, and told you all of these lies, man, they damn themselves. People will sit up. You can read in the book that Messiah, Hamashiach, is the high priest. He's the mediator, mediator between the Most High and man. And you can see that in biblical order. Hamashiach is the head of man. Man is the head of woman. Hamashiach is the, a mediator between the Most High and man. The Most High is the head of Hamashiach. When, we, when we're reading about this, you will have people sit up and in Catholicism, use the same book that I just gave you the truth out of and will doggone be sitting up there confessing their sins to a priest. And the book told you, you ain't got to do that. We got the same information. The difference is, don't be surprised if everybody's not searching out for the truth. They're, they're distracted by, you know, heathen holidays. They're distracted by bread and circus. This is real. Don't, when you see somebody that has a strong delusion, man, just let them go on. They are comfortable in living in unrighteousness. You got people out there that living wickedly, live unrighteous. They do a, a, a public decoration of their faith, go get baptized, and, and 10 years later, they still keeping the same unrighteous holiday, unbiblical holiday. So the question is, did they get filled with the spirit of truth, the spirit that gives understanding, or did they get filled with a deceitful spirit? There's a lot of people out here getting sacrificed. See, everybody focused on uh, the sacrificing that so-called P. Diddy uh, is being levied charges with, but nobody's talking about the sacrificing that's happening due to this damnable doctrine, who people are actually giving their souls over to based upon what they believe and there's no truth in it. Closer to y'all, ministry's kicking it gun barrel straight. Bow.